All right, Shalom. <coughs> Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, Call him Lame La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, a Shalom to you, Anki Maldera, that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, Shalom to the whole full elect, the 144,000. All right, so this is going to be a quick lesson. You know, Lord's will you, um, the Lord's sheep is edified, of course, as always. You know, but this is going to be a quick lesson titled, A New Heaven and a New Earth. Okay, a new heaven and a new earth. All right, and that's what we're looking forward to. You know, we're looking forward to, you know, righteousness. <clears throat> you know, we're looking forward to having the, the new covenant in our inward part, meaning our, our heart, meaning, you know, ultimately meaning our mind, you know. <clears throat> You know, uh, looking for, forward to, you know, not dying anymore, not sinning, you know, looking forward to Esau Eden completely being done away with as far as the whole nation goes, pursuing to the book of Obadiah, okay, in the 18th verse. So, you know, we look forward to, you know, the return of Yahweh Shai, man, so that way he can bring, you know, peace and order back in the earth as it once was, you know, you know, because, because, um, you know, this place, you know, uh, the earth is is made because the Lord made earth to be paradise, you know, uh, the Eden, you know, paradise, you know, and in this place at one point it was it wasn't as wicked as it is today, you know, so we look forward to, you know, everything being back in its rightful order. OK, and uh, so starting off, this is the book of Isaiah. <clears throat> Isaiah 65 and I start at verse 17 all right and it says uh, for behold I create new heavens and a new earth and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind right so the Lord is gonna destroy this place you know destroy Babylon destroy you know uh, America okay the Lord is gonna completely you know make this place desolate Okay, this play, this society, as you know, that's being ran by Esau, Edom, is going to come to naught very soon, according to biblical prophecy, according to the Lord's word. Okay, and it says, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into thy mind, right? Because, you know, it's going to come a point in time where we're going to forget about, you know, uh, Esau, you know, we're going to forget about, you know, these things. Now, of course, you know, I speak as a man, you know, I don't, you know, because, you know, I, I can only say, <clears throat> you know, say as far as, you know, me, you know, this flesh can't imagine, you know, but I speak as a man, hey, he's going to come a time where we know we, you know, going to forget about this dude, man, you know, but the scriptures say, the, the, the scriptures do say that he shall fly away as a, as a, as a dream in the night, you know, a bad dream, you know, and we're, and we're living in a nightmare. Okay. So, you know, we hasten in, in the day of Yahweh Shai, you know, we hasten in the days of prophecy, you know, we're living in prophecy, you know, prophetic times. Okay. So I got that. Actually, let me keep going. Uh, verse 18, it says, but be ye glad and rejoice forever and that which I create for behold, I create Jerusalem and rejoicing in her people of joy. And I will re rejoice in Jerusalem and enjoy my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Right. And that reminds me of the book of Revelation, the 21st chapter. Let's get that real quick because it says there shall be no more weeping. You know, no more crying, okay? This is the book of Revelation 21. And I'll start from the top and I go down to verse 4. Okay, and it says, verse 1, and I saw a new, uh, Revelation 21 and verse 1, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, right? That's talking about the kingdom, you know, New Jerusalem, okay? You know, the uh, uh, the uh, new rulership in the earth that will be righteous. OK, for the first heaven, and the first earth were passed away, meaning this rulership right now. Esau, Edom. OK, this this uh, moment in time that we're living in and there is no more sea. And I and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem coming down from heaven, excuse me, coming down from the most high out of heaven. And that's talking about the elect. 
okay, New Jerusalem, you know, they're gonna come down with those new, those new bodies, okay, you know, those, you know, spiritual power, okay, everything, man, everything's gonna be brand new, all right, it says, uh, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, okay, and the husband is too, and, and, and who is the husband, okay, you have a shy, all right, and, and, and the bride is who, the elect, okay, the New Jerusalem, and the the uh the husband, you know, the bridegroom is Yahweh is Yahweh Shai. Okay. Verse three and it says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the most high is with the men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the most high himself shall be with them and be their God. All right. That proves that we're chosen. Okay, that the Lord chose us to be his people, the Israelites. Okay, but starting off with, you know, uh uh the elect, because right now, you know, only the elect are praising and calling upon the name of, you know, Yahweh Bashmah Shai, okay? And then ultimately the rest of the nation will follow suit because right now two-thirds of our people, you know, they're unclean, you know, but in the kingdom, you know, they're going to be right, okay? Because only a, uh, a special remnant, which is the elect, are going to come back to Yahweh Bashmah Shai. Verse 4, here's the point, and it says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, Right, because you know, in the kingdom, we're gonna be, you know, we're gonna have the laws and the error parts pursuant to the book of Hebrews, the eighth chapter, okay, around the eighth, around the eighth verse, okay, and and being that we're gonna have the, you know, the, the laws and the error parts, you know, we're not gonna go off, we're not going to sin, okay, and the wages of sin is death, so we're gonna be living for all eternity, okay, and it says, no more death, neither sorrow, excuse me, neither sorrow. Nor crying, neither pain shall there be any more, excuse me, not nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Right. Going back to Isaiah 65, he said that, said, you know, the, the, the former things are basically done away with. You know, talking about, you know, this this life we're living in, you know, this this uh this temporal, this temporal society that people call, you know, life right now, you know, because you know, there's more to life than just Babylon. Okay, things are about to, you know, be shifted. Okay, the Lord is about to, you know, bring a power shift in the earth. Okay, and that power shift is uh, Esau coming to an end and Jacob rising. You know, right now, Jacob is rising spiritually. Okay, you know, the, the prophets, the servants, the men of the Lord, you know, we're, we're uh, rising spiritually, you know, the, uh, the exceeding great army. Okay, it's like every day there, there's a brother popping up, man, you know, waking up. So call Loi Habba Shema Shai by Sharon Kakwadash for that one, man. All right. This is the book of 2 Peter. Three and verse 13. And it says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where in dwelleth righteousness. Okay. You know, I'm, let's read it one more time. I'll read it again, okay? Second Peter 3 and verse 13, it says, Nevertheless, we, okay, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where in dwelleth righteousness, okay? So that's so that's what we look forward to, okay? You know, we, we look forward to the Lord, you know, you know, uh, allowing privacy to manifest so that way we can go home because, you know, the more that we you know, the more that we're in the end days and, and the longer that these days grow older and get, get close to the end, you know, prophecy can happen. So that way we can get the hell out of here, man. Prophecy must happen so that way we can be delivered. You know, the MOTB has to come. OK, you know, the uh, uh, which which also which which uh, which is ultimately the hour of temptation. You see, you know, also to Jacob's trouble, you know, a civil unrest. OK, World War three. You know, Yahweh Shai returning. Okay. So we so we are looking forward to privacy manifesting. So that way we can go home, man. Okay, because when, when those nukes are shot off, that's when the, the Lord is gonna deliver his uh elect. Okay. Actually, let's get that real quick, you know, just to end off on that one. Actually, there's a couple of scriptures that, that says it. You have one in Zechariah. You know, also in one of Matthew, but I'm gonna get the one of Matthew just to you get straight to the point. Matthew 24 and verse 
uh, 31 and it says, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it says, and <coughs> it's like it, Matthew 24 and 31, it says, and, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the of heaven to the other. Right. And guess what, man? We hope and pray that we are of that number. That's why that's why we know we say the hopeful like because we have hope that will we you know be delivered and be part of that you know that um elect remnant okay you know and also too we hope <coughs> excuse me we hope to just see this place you know burn which it, which it will be but we just want to see it burn immediately so like it you know and we just want to see this place go man all right and, and which it will and which it will you know but you know that's that's how much you know we want to you know see righteousness you know be established here on earth man okay so with that being said, I just want to say call lame la Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kakwadash double honor being to the elder apostles of great millstone that do rule and teach well. All right, and once again I shall I want to the Akim out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kakwadash. Shall I want to the hopeful elect the hundred and forty-four thousand? And Lord's will you you were edified. That being said, shall I want.